Hey guys, my name's Jan, I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you subscribe down below if you want to see when I put up a new video. Enjoy, and I'll uh, see you in a minute. So hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. I've decided that this week I wanted to go a bit different and just really express some things that I've been thinking about and therefore just put it into a video but firstly I'd just like to uh, show you my three new posters in the background that are going to remain there for the rest of the year I imagine I'm thinking of getting another one as well just there just so that I can have it on camera and it's nice then and you can also see my bed which has been made and I think I'm going to change the sheets today, so there you are, some information for you. So, I've decided to title this, What Am I Doing at University? And generally, it's just to get some points across about why I'm here, what I'm studying, why did I pick here, and things like that. But I'm not really going to dive into it too much, because there's a load of things that play into a fact. And if people do want to know why I'm here then I will make a specific video on that as well. So why am I here at university? Well if you don't know by now I am studying a joint honours degree in law and American studies. So at the moment that is 80 credits in law and 40 credits in American studies so that's 10 credits per module for everything in law and 20 credits per module for everything in my American studies because I do two modules of American studies but four modules of law and although that 80 doesn't divide it does divide down to 20 I do eight lots of modules across the year whereas I only do the two modules of American studies for this year. Basically, I picked Law and American Studies because it allows me to keep my options open while I'm at university and afterwards. What I would like to do is do an LPC, which is a legal practice course, in a couple of years' time, once I've finished my degree, if I get the chance to, because then I will be able to train into being a solicitor. But I want the American Studies bit because it just offers something different that maybe other people don't have. But I'm going to probably do a joint honours video on why I do a joint honours anyway and why I'd recommend doing a joint honours if you're not quite sure what to do. I'm doing American studies because I want to have an idea on American politics and a load of other American things that I would like to look at, bearing in mind that all my American studies stuff has got to be legally based in order for me to get my degree in what I want. So the law bit is because I've got a complete interest in law. I'll be honest, I'm one of those saddos that buys loads of books in law that I don't actually need. So I've got my legal practice companion and my constitutional and administrative law straight up there just behind the camera uh, because I genuinely read them when I'm bored as well as my legal systems and skills book. And I also have another American studies book which I, I will also show you at one point which is very interesting and in a way I'd recommend buying but you know. So I chose my university as well uh, I chose my university of Swansea uh, that's the main university of Swansea weird story this I have a sister who actually went to the other university in Swansea that's part of the reason why I'm here there you are you know some stuff so actually I do know Swansea very well here is the t currently the top university in Wales and that's one of the reasons I decided to pick Swansea and it's very good, it's got a very high rating in law. Why would you go anywhere else? In fact one of my lecturers wrote this book which I'm going to show you now. So this book here is my contract law book by Kaufman and McDonald's, a course by this woman here, Elizabeth McDonald, or my contract law lecturer. So, considering we're studying her book, I think it's a pretty good university, because she's got a book. Some of it as well is because of the course that they offered. As you can imagine, not many universities do law 
and American studies. Swansea does. Some of the universities I looked at did like American legal skills and things like that. But I didn't really want to do American law because, well, I couldn't really do anything with it afterwards. Whereas with American studies, it does open me up to a lot of other things, such as working for things like the United Nations, hopefully. Specifically as well with Swansea, I wanted to come here because it's a qualifying law degree. Now, if you don't do law, you probably won't understand what that means. But basically, it means that I can qualify to get onto a legal practice course. But I'll talk about that if you want to know about law degrees. Just leave a comment down below or whatever if you do want to know about studying in law specifically. But basically, I'll have a qualifying degree, which means that it's very important to go to the correct university for that. And this was one of them. Some of it, like I said, is based on many other factors, and because there's loads of factors in it, I think I'm probably going to end up doing a specific law and how I picked my university video. So that'll probably end up being two videos you watch. Probably three, actually, because I'm doing a joint honours as well, so I'll probably like a video on why I'm doing a joint honours. Also, I'm not very well, so this isn't probably the best thing to record. So the last bit I want to discuss is what my studying is about. And without meaning to be sound stupid, but my studies is literally law and American studies. So I study about America as a whole. Don't study about the United States as such, because we do about Incas and that as well. And a bit about Canada. But a lot of it is the United States. And the book I'm reading at the moment is A People's History of the United States by Harold Howard Zinn. But my studies basically involves me spending lots and lots of time in the library. Specifically the law library because it's nice and quiet in there and I can get my work done. Which means that I don't have any contact with anyone when I'm in there. Literally just take my laptop and my book and what I need to do. So I've got all my seminar stuff done at the moment for the next week and it's feeling great. But mainly it involves reading the law library, but I do read a lot of American stuff as well. And I've got to read a Finland Shy. I've got to read actually this week as well, which I might order the book for to be fair. Anyway, I don't think there's really much else to add about what I'm doing at the moment. However, if you have got any questions, what I'd like to say is maybe leave a comment down below also going to start this new hashtag for this video which if you follow me on twitter you'll be able to use and the hashtag will be ask yan law hashtag ask yan law i'll put that up there anyway so that you can you know click on that probably be like blue like the twitter thing i hope you have enjoyed this week's video and you're finding out what i'm doing i've got a couple of things lined up for the next couple of weeks uh when it comes to videos so really do look forward to them if you haven't subscribed already make sure you click subscribe there so that you get notified every week when i put up a new video which is every friday i've got a snapchat which is just there if you want to follow me on Snapchat, and above that is actually my Twitter, which you will need if you want to use that hashtag and ask me any questions. But remember, you can also ask questions down below. Make sure you, you like this week's video if you've really enjoyed it, and you want to support me at university during my studies. I'm going to aim to try and get a video out every week. Can't always guarantee it with workload, but that is my aim, and basically that's what I want to do. Oh, just remember, last week's video is at the end, as per usual. Thanks for watching this week's video. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?